Kara again and today I am back with another process video on how to make shaker cards using shaker cards and pockets using old CD cases or envelopes I guess. So this one is about, it's less than six by six card, it's more like five and a half and I used it here and I put the sequence in the envelope and added some stickers. This is um, from Scrapping for Less. Their June card kit came with the papers and the stickers. And then I had in my stash this happy birthday sticker and I made this. And you could write in the card like that. And then for junk journals, I made one and I used some sequins and some wooden hearts. And what I did with this one is I left the flap. So I just taped right here and I left the flap because I was thinking in a larger junk journal, this isn't quite the same style as what I was kind of thinking, but um, what you could do is either before you put the signature in, add it to the page and then it would be stuck to the signature, right? And then it would be a flap or you could add uh, washi tape and stick it that. All right, so let me show you how I made these shaker pockets using a CD case. And the first one I'm going to show you today is the one for a junk journal. So the lace is from Junk That Treasure. The buttons are from Junk That Treasures on Etsy as well as I used this butterfly is um, from a doily from Junk That Treasures and then some of the other stuff is from my stash. This is a Recollections uh, burlap flower, some washi from my stash, some wooden hearts that I think I got from AliExpress, some Tim Holtz ephemera. So first thing we need to do is ink up our ink it up and I'm just going to go around. Now you could do your tea and coffee stain but for the video I thought this would be easier. Oh, I'm pretty heavy handed here. I didn't necessarily mean to do that. We'll go with it. In the middle a little bit. And I'm using Distress Oxide. This probably isn't the best because if this gets wet, then we know what will happen. Um, but if you have some brown ink that is water resistant, that would probably be better. All right. So I have this washi. And I think I also got this washi either AliExpress. Not the best. See, it already automatically kind of rips for me. I'm going to make this one like I did this one so I have the flap open so that I could put it in a signature. So I think this will be my top and then my bottom. I'm gonna just... But I love the look of it. I'm gonna rip that a little bit. There we go. And add some to the back. Down here. And maybe a little bit up here on the top. There we go. All right, now back to the front. So on this one, I added some lace. And this lace is from Junk That Treasures. And again, you could coffee or tea dye your, dye your lace first but again for the video and I'm going to use my distress oxide and age it that way so let's ink it up a little bit and then I'm gonna add this to the top, like that. A little bit on the back. I 
think I need to add more glue to my fine layer. Seeping out all over the place. And I'll kind of go down there a little bit like that. Looks good. And then some of those vintage buttons, also from Junk That Treasure. And I think I said this in a other video, but look at the string is still on these buttons. I think that just adds such a cool vintage touch. If you don't like that, you can always take it out. This one's super cool, I like the crisscross. So I have a little glue. I'm gonna do my those sit and then down here I took a page from a book that I took out for a journal and I inked up the edges what I was noticing is this might be too far out so if it doesn't fit in your journal you can always rip it and then it will probably fold better in your journal so I'm not my next one so I have this page this is from earlier and I'm just gonna rip it I'm gonna gauge that looks good. All right, and then I'm gonna ink this as well. All right, that looks cute. And then let's see. I'm gonna stick with the big one. This needs a little bit more glue. Make sure he's on there. Forgot, let's glue this guy on. There we go. And this tag, but I'm also only going to use half of it, so I can use half on another project. Up. There we go. Add him right there. Looks great. Stick on. Actually, maybe over my flat butterfly. So I thought a butterfly would be kind of fun. And my. So the front looks pretty cute. I like it. All right, so then I'm gonna turn them over and we're gonna decorate the back. And the back of this one, I added some ephemera and some butterflies. So I was thinking for the back of this one, this Tim Holtz tag would be cute. Corner. I have some Maggie Holmes butterflies that I fussy cut out and I think I just love, 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 love Maggie Holmes paper. So I'm going to try and give it a little vintage look by inking it up. I'm going to add this butterfly at the bottom. Here on the top, like that. And I also have, I should have done this first, but I have this stamp that I thought would look cool right up here. But I'm only inking the bottom part because I just kind of want the bottom part. Move my buttons out of the way and give them a little stamp. Oh, that looks cool. Let's see, maybe right here too. Oh, I like that. And I'm gonna do a little bit. See, should've done it first over here on the side. Oh, pretty cool, I like that. Pretty cute. So there is the first one. There you go. Oh, you know what? Most important part, almost forgot. We decorated it, now it's time to put our contents in the shaker pocket. All right, I'm gonna use a little pop of color. And then I also have these tan goldish ones. I'm gonna dump some of those. And then I also have these blue, and they're sort of just for a pop, right? Just a couple, give it a pop of color. And I'm gonna add some of these wood butterflies in there and shoot maybe a couple buttons just one maybe my smaller ones too how about three there we go take a look see if we oh look at yep i like the pop of color that's fun cute and there's shades i like that 
All right, so I have this double-sided tape. And what you want to make sure of, see this piece isn't quite long enough. You're going to want to make sure that you go all the way to the end. So I'm going to get some more like that. And push it down really well. And then I tend to use my scissors to get under and grab the white backing. And this one. Maybe. Oh, 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 there it is. We got it. All right, and then just push it down. This one kind of came out a little bit, so I'm just going to rub it. Let's take a look. There we go. How cute. Yay. So then you could take your journal. This is my son's journal. Yep. And could take this and washi tape this in his book or what I more most likely would do is add it to maybe not this washi tape but I would add it to the signature like I was saying but if you did it after the fact you could just take this and Washi tape it in, like so. And there you go. Then you have like a little flip. That's a shaker pocket. How cute, right? And you could reinforce it on this side too. And then maybe I add an extra strip right here. But there you go. My son's gonna love that he has butterflies in his journal now. <laughs> All right, since this video is already 12 minutes, I'm going to stop here and uh, join me for part two with the pirate card. Thanks again. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.